this is Teacher Carla from Camglish.com. Today, we will study the NTZ's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions. This book can help you to express yourself and make a good deal with the persons that you need their service. Are you ready to start our lesson? Oh, I know that you are. So, let's get started. We are on Unit 14 and it's about service encounters. We already finished the expressions under the topic of clothes cleaning. And I hope that it helps you a lot to ask the launderer what are the things you want with your clothes. Now, let's go to the fourth topic of Unit 14 and it's about public libraries. This is the first set of expressions under the public libraries and it is questions for a librarian. First expression is where is the reference section? Where is the reference section? Where is the reference section? Next, where is the fiction? Where is the fiction? Where is the fiction? Next, can you please tell me where to find the biographies? Can you please tell me where to find the biographies? Can you please tell me where to find the biographies? Next, where are the periodicals? Where are the periodicals? Where are the periodicals? Periodical Korean words are here. Next, where can I get a library card? Where can I get a library card? Where can I get a library card? Next, do you have a photocopier here? Do you have a photocopier here? Do you have a photocopier here? Next, is there a quiet reading room? Is there a quiet reading room? Is there a quiet reading room? Next, do you check out video cassettes? Do you check out video cassettes? Do you check out video cassettes? Check out or the Korean words are here. Next, do you have cities available? Do you have cities available? Do you have cities available? City stands for compact disc. But nowadays, we just said CD instead of compact disc. Next, where is the public telephone? Where is the public telephone? Where is the public telephone? The second set of expression is at the service counter of a library. First expression under this one is I'd like to check out these books. I'd like to check out these books. 
I'd like to check out these books. Next, I'd like to check these books out. I'd like to check these books out. I'd like to check these books out. Next, these books are overdue. These books are overdue. These books are overdue. Overdue has the same meaning of late. Next, I'd like to return these books. I'd like to return these books. I'd like to return these books. Next, I need to pay a fine. I need to pay a fine. I need to pay a fine. Next, do you have change for the copiers? Do you have change for the copiers? Do you have change for the copiers? And the third set of expressions under the public libraries is a library desk clerk's responses. First expression for this one is the copier is in the reference room. The copier is in the reference room. The copier is in the reference room. Next, please ask the adult services librarian about CDs. Please ask the adult services librarian about CDs. Please ask the adult services librarian about CDs. Next, the periodical room is upstairs. The periodical room is upstairs. The periodical room is upstairs. Next, the telephones are in the lobby. The telephones are in the lobby. The telephones are in the lobby. Next, this book is due in three weeks. This book is due in three weeks. This book is due in three weeks. Next, reference books cannot be checked out. Reference books cannot be checked out. Reference books cannot be checked out. Next, would you like to reserve this book for you? Would you like me to reserve this book for you? Would you like me to reserve this book for you? You can also use shall I, should I, or do you want me to instead of would you like me to? For example, Shall I reserve this book for you? Should I reserve this book for you? Do you want me to reserve this book for you? Next, would you like me to request this book from another library? Would you like me to request this book from another library? Would you like me to request this book from another library? That will be all for today. I hope that you enjoyed our lessons and remember those expressions so that you can express yourself in a public library. Again, this is DJ Carla from Cambridge.com. We will have other expressions that can help you to enhance your ability in speaking English. See you next time. Bye!